ni tekna msangi ya jishinde.com Welcome to day 15 of 30 days of AL and today we are going to look at the string menu. So when the functionality can be simulated like here in a purchase order when you click on post you have this option receive invoice receive an invoice this is an example of the usage of a string menu it gives you these options and based on what you select the posting is different and it's good to give the user this particular kind of a functionality but again it should not be used in um many places the string menu because the times not very 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 user friendly have maybe such kind of options only when necessary okay so 30 days of l so this function that we are looking at is string menu in l so i'll just use the uh, my custom google search here be able to fetch the different descriptions of the string menu it creates a menu window that displays a series of options and the syntax is that uh, that's the link that's the example so we'll just go straight to this link so we have it creates a menu window that displays a series of options and these are the options so you have like the option um, member or the result that will be selected will be as a result of the string menu and this option members option members will have now a comma separated value list of values that will now be displayed um, vertically and then the default number out of the numbers remember the string menu counts from one onwards if you don't select anything zero is returned so you can be able to handle if zero is returned no it's like an escape and then the instruction that is, is please select this or something similar to that so that's the functionality so in this uh, table i have given uh, i have this option of like this when i type on this string menu on validate it will generate my string menu so receive receive so you separate them with commas like you type uh, separate with comma receive invoice and receive and invoice voice will give me the three options so it will be and not ampersand so receive invoice receive and invoice so we, uh, if i select this it will be one if i select this is two like let me select this receive and invoice so the option is three but on the other side of the l code i need to handle how to use a uh, option 3 if it's option 3 then i run this particular code so the definition is simply like this you just call the dialog dot string menu so the option will be stored in your integer you assign it to a value or to a variable that will store uh, an integer variable that will store the option that has been selected and then you pass the default value in between and then the optional text if you like to give the user the info what do you want to select then you can be able to put that particular optional text and then finally you just message out to the user tell them eh hey, congratulations you have selected this and you can be able to handle the code from there so it's a simple uh, but useful function when need be and uh, that's it for this video i'll see you in day 16 of 30 days of al if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one